at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the mark of light will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. Ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! Daddy, let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just one more for the road, sweetie. You never know. He might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things. For the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what... <laughs> and what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of... 
falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and then monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck me head in there to see what all the commotion was and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and, well, I just hope she's all right. <sighs> she... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, then. Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's Bleeding Palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway. When I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. All shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top-end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It's... So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. <laughs> Here, you'll need this to get to Galopolis. at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. <laughs> 